Okay, now that I have Mathematica open, so this is a uh, 10.0, the student edition, so this is for personal use, so I'm not making any money off this. I'm just trying to teach you guys how to uh, use Mathematica. I actually really like Mathematica um, a lot. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to define our functions up here. It turns out we can define our functions everywhere. So the name of the function is fun, x is the input, and then the... Uh, the evaluation of, sorry, that's a capital X, it needs to be lower, because the evaluation of X is gonna be like this. So I'm gonna hit um, Shift Enter, and there is the, uh, I, don't, I don't want all that help, get away. Um, so that's my, so if I type in, you know, fun of say 10, it should give me 81, right? So now I can do F prime of X is, and here's actually something interesting. I wonder if I can do this. Let's do um, D, I'm gonna use a derivative function, fun X comma X, that's awesome. So I just took the derivative of uh, that, no problem, which is uh, pretty neat in my opinion. All right, so then uh, I'm going to make my initial condition. So I'm going to hard code it, but um, you, can, you can change it in here. So I'm going to make it 10. Uh, that's where we've been starting. Um, I'm going to make my x iters. I'm going to make a vector I'm using curly braces. So now I've got a curly brace here. Um, I'm going to evaluate my uh, error function. So I've got a fun of x uh, iters. And in order to get the first element of an array in Mathematica, you need to use two brackets, uh, which is kind of annoying, but there's 81, so there's my error function. And so now um, I'm going to do this a, a, in a couple steps just so you kind of see what's happening. Um, but basically what I want to do is in MATLAB I used uh, x iters you know, of end, but you can't do end in Mathematica. So what you have to do is last of x iters and that will return the last element of x. And so the, uh, the function, um, if I want to do say x next, that's going to be last of x iters minus uh, the function evaluated at last. And actually maybe what we want to do is we want to do x current equals um, last x iters like that, so it's 10. And then we can say um, x next is x current minus uh, the function evaluated x current divided by uh, f prime. And by the way, functions don't need to be all caps. I don't know why I did that. x current. And I should get uh, 11. And then and it gives me 11 over 2. If I do slash slash n, oops, not n, n like Nancy, it'll do 5.5 .5 like that. Okay, so then what do I want? What I want to do is I want to take x iters, which is 10, and I want to append to it. So um, the way I do that is I take x iters and I say equals the append function, take x iters and append to it x next, like that. And so there's 10 and 10.5. So if I run this again, now the last of x iters is 5. x current is 5.5. I can run this again, I get 3.25, and then I can keep doing this over and over again. So if I keep running this these like couple rows over and over and over again you know it's just going to keep appending over and over so this is basically what i want to do in the while loop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit evaluation quick kernel local and then i'm going to uh, redefine all of these functions here and oop, did i not get fun oh i didn't get fun whoops so there's my error function uh, I'm gonna, that's okay with last here, but I'm going to leave all this stuff off down here. I don't want to do this. Um, I'm going to put a comment in here and say this below was just for, um, actually, let me delete that guy over there. Um, here we go. This below was just for tutorials sake. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make the while loop. And I, I, can I just like hit enter? Yeah, okay. So now I want to do while the error is greater than 10 to the minus 5, which is essentially 1e minus 5. Uh, I'm going to say the, what, the computation I want to happen inside the loop is two things. First, I want x iters to equal the append function of x iters, comma, and then last of x iters minus the function evaluated at x iters divided by, oh, sorry, function evaluated the last of x iters divided by f prime last x iters. I think that that's the end of the append function. And then I also want the error function to be reevaluated using last x iters.
and then that ends the while loop. So that's a lot going on. So let's look at this. So remember, last x iters is x current. So last x iters minus function evaluated at last x iters divided by f prime last x iters is really this line of code right here, x next. It's all this down here. Then what I want to do is I want to take x next, which is essentially all of this, and append it to x iters, which is this portion here. So what I've really done is I've taken, I've taken this line of code, and everywhere I see x current, I put in last x iters. And then I've taken this line of code, and everywhere I see x next, I take this line of code, which has x current replaced in. So if I take this line of code, this line of code, and this line of code, and put them all together, I get this line of code here. And then obviously I want to reevaluate the error function so it actually quits. And so if I hit go, hopefully it'll it'll run. Um, it looks like it did. If I type in x iters, there it is right there. Let's type in slash slash n. So there's you know 1.0. That was actually kind of funny. Look at that, like 4,105 divided by 4,096. I mean it's like practically practically there. Um, oops, this actually needs to go here not really a big deal but let's just try to keep consistent um, so then if I want to plot this I just do list plot uh, x iters and there's my plot right there so I'm gonna all the stuff here that was here for tutorial sake I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, delete all this and the reason why is because I want to show you how to run this like a workbook so say you want to change the initial condition from 10 to say negative 5 all you need to do is hit evaluation quit kernel quit and then hit uh, evaluation, uh, evaluate notebook. And then it'll run through and there it goes and updates the plots. So um, there's a way where you can kind of run this like a script. And so there you have it. There is um, Newton Raston in Mathematica. So let's see what is next. Uh, looks like uh, Python is next. So Python is uh, very similar to uh, MATLAB and um, other languages, so I figured that would be the next logical stop.